Greetings, everyone. We are about to begin the season of Lent, this wonderful opportunity we have each year to be renewed, to experience a kind of turning in our lives that is more and more focused on God and what is of God. And of course, in this pandemic time, things will happen a little bit differently than usual. But on the other hand, there are a lot of things that will be the same. So the Lenten season begins on Ash Wednesday, which this year is February 17. And on Ash Wednesday, we will have five different services uh, in the church here at which people can receive ashes, being marked with ashes in the sign of the cross. And two of those are masses, and ashes will only be distributed during one of those five different services. Also, we'll have our regular Sunday Mass schedule and weekday Mass schedule, including the in-church liturgies, as well as those that we will continue to have available on YouTube. And on Fridays, we'll have Stations of the Cross, beginning with the Friday right after Ash Wednesday. Also, I encourage you to look for various Lenten programs and prayer opportunities that might suit you as a kind of tool during this Lenten time. So look at our parish bulletin, our parish website, uh, look for the Friday emails when these will be listed and be described. So for example, one of the things that I will be doing during the Lenten season is a Bible study on the wisdom books in our Bible. I'll be giving a, a lecture about those, and then Grace on our staff will lead a discussion about those important scriptural books. And also this year we have our familiar Black Lenten Reflection books available. If you're able to come into the church building sometime, they'll be available in the commons and you're welcome to take one home with a, with a brief reflection for each day in the Lenten season. And they actually begin with the Sunday right before Lent starts. So remember the three big Lenten practices, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving that we are encouraged to experience during this sacred time. So prayer helps us to be right with God. Fasting helps us to be right with ourselves. And almsgiving helps us to be right with other people in a compassionate, charitable, loving way. So let's look for ways in which these three, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, can be part of our Lenten journey. I like to think of the Lenten season as a time of turning, turning more and more to God and what is of God. And an image that I often think about for us in regard to this turning is a field of sunflower seeds. The whole field of sunflowers will turn and face the sun as the sun rises and sets. So we can think of ourselves as a community of believers, a community of disciples of the risen Christ, together turning more and more to the light, to what is of God, to the risen Christ who continues to lead us and to guide us. So my prayer for all of us during our Lenten journey is that this can be indeed a time for us more and more to turn to God and what is of God and to manifest that even more clearly in our daily living. God's blessings to all of you.